Hi, I am Imre Yele, the project director of Death to Rise Retribution here at Volatile Games. I want to talk about some of the coolest features from the wide range of mechanics you can find in this game. Let's start with Shadow. As a playable character, he offers lots of different options to approach any situation. But for now, I will rely on his stealth ability. Using my Haunt Vision, I can see enemies behind cover and so can plan my attack carefully. After taking out the first guard silently, I hide his body to avoid alerting the others. I will now use a quiet bark to draw the attention of the next bad guy. Notice how his color changed yellow, showing his alert status. The different alert levels fundamentally change the behavior of AI characters, which range from passive to panicking. I hide inside the train wreckage until one of the guards leaves, before taking out the one that remains silently. At this point, the other enemies are still unaware of my presence. But now, I'll opt for speed and strength to take out the last enemies. This approach is loud and risky, but very fast and true to Shadow's feral nature. Shadow's attack animations are often based on real-life references, but were made more vicious to fit into this over-the-top action game. In this next section, I will show Jack's basic mechanics and how he can work with his AI body.